For hundreds of years, editors have searched far and wide for the secret to good editing. Does it mean fancy effects? How about hundreds of cuts? Or even just picking the right software? And what if it's none of those things? What if it's an idea so simple, so obvious, that all it takes is just a little digging in the right spot to find? And what's that idea, I hear you ask? Smoothness. So what is smoothness? Think about it like driving your car. When you put your foot down on the accelerator, eventually your car's gonna start to take off and get to full speed. Then, when you press the brake, the car gradually slows down and you come to a stop. For a comfortable journey, you want this all to happen as smoothly as possible, which comes from gradual acceleration and gradual braking. If you were to slam down the brake, you'd come to a super abrupt stop leaving you with some very unhappy passengers. What the hell? It's the same with any edits you do. You want your edits to start smoothly, reach full speed, and then gradually come to an end. This is super important for every edit that you do, because if you have a harsh start and a harsh ending, like we did in the car, then you're gonna leave your audience really unhappy, like those passengers. This goes for everything, from a transition that has a smooth start and end, or it could be an object moving onto the screen with a smooth start, a little bit of a fast middle, and then a smooth slide out. Notice how smooth this all looks. Everything that's coming on screen feels natural, even though it's being made in a computer. This makes it all feel super professional. <sighs> so now that we know what smoothness is and we've seen it in action, let's learn how we can implement it into your videos. And for that, we need to go back to the office. There are many ways to achieve smoothness, and almost all of them start with the same core concept, keyframes. Learning keyframes is one of the most important things that you can do as an editor, and that applies to all kinds of editing, all the way from corporate videos to YouTubing. A basic keyframe is a marker that you put onto a frame to tell your software where you want a specific value to be held on a specific frame. So let's say at point A, you want the rotation value to be zero. So on that frame, the value of the new keyframe will be set to zero. And now to make it spin, you go forward a few frames and set the value to 180. This will be our point B. As you can see, that's not very smooth. And that's because any change between the values in any editing software will be interpolated, which means that it happens at a steady and consistent pace. Like if the car was always at 20 miles per hour with no smooth takeoff or landing. So how do we make this smooth? When I started getting into smooth editing, I quickly learned about the ease in and ease out feature. Easing out adds a smooth start to the change in value between keyframes, whilst easing in creates a smooth ending to the change in value. In any editing software that allows for smooth keyframes, which includes Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve, you want to set your first set of blocky unedited keyframes to ease out, and then your second set of keyframes to ease in. And there you have it a pretty generic smooth motion from A to B. Just remember that it's out, then in, not the other way around. Ease out and ease in can be added to any value change, from a change in rotation and scale to transform movements. All the way to keyframing a gradual blur on screen. But let's take this one step further and make these animations even smoother. And to do that, we're gonna to need to look into something called velocity. Now velocity marks the rate at which the values change between the keyframes and is fully customizable. In Premiere Pro, this looks like clicking this drop down arrow and opening up this graph. You should see the space open up by the keyframes. Here we have two simple position keyframes. Click on that starting keyframe and then we can grab this handle here and drag it all the way out in, up or down. All of this is affecting the speed and smoothness of that position animation. Just mess around with it and figure out what you think looks good and smooth. Likewise in DaVinci Resolve, you can play with the keyframes to the same degree. Let's go over a quick example of a super smooth edit in Premiere Pro. I'm gonna drag the first keyframes handle and pull it out a little like this. Then I'm gonna click and drag on the next keyframes handle all the way back so that it looks like this. 
This big hill in the middle of the keyframes on the left side is where most of the speed is occurring in the motion from A to B. In the example with the car, the start is super fast, then the long slope down is a slow deceleration, which will eventually leave us at the end point of the motion. If you haven't already, you can use these exact keyframes on a transform effect, which can be found in the effects tab. If you scroll down and change that shutter speed to 180 or 360, you'll have motion blur. Sometimes to make things bounce, I create a velocity graph shape that looks like this, with speed concentrated on the end. Then keyframe the anchor point to wobble a bit on that spike. So for this example, left, then right, then left, then back to the original landing point. You can also do this for something bouncing up and down, diagonally, or even in the rotation. It's pretty cool. And of course, creating all of these keyframes and implementing all that smoothness into your videos can take hours to get right. And that's where another top secret editing tool comes into play. Presets. Presets are pre-made effects where all the keyframes have been done for you. All you have to do is drag a preset onto something, maybe a slide onto a character PNG, and the effect will be applied to that character. There are a few options here. You can make these effects yourself in your editing software of choice, whether that's Premiere Pro or DaVinci, and save them as a preset. Or save yourself even more time and buy handmade presets online. I sell thousands of these on my website Storzar, and they've all been created by me and my team, with the focus being on optimizing smoothness in your edits and saving you loads of time. Being smooth is an essential part of my editing process. I want everything to feel natural and as realistic as possible, even though I'm making it all on a computer. You can find this idea implemented into everyday technology. Just think about scrolling. When you start scrolling and then you stop suddenly, it doesn't just stop scrolling, it carries on and comes to a final end really smoothly. That's not something that happens naturally. That is something that is keyframed in and animated by the web developers. And for one final pro note, you gotta make sure that your cuts, that even though they're smooth, you essentially don't want people to notice that they're there. That's what makes cuts really smooth, is when people watch a video and they don't even think about the editing. That's the gold standard. So aim for that. <sighs> so now you know it. The secret to the world's best editing. Now get out of here. Go and use what I taught you today. Go use it in your gaming videos, your vlogs, your travel vlogs, I don't care. But if you want some of the world's best editing assets like presets or a course from beginning to pro, then you know where to go storesart.com. We've been working on this site a lot recently and we're really proud of it. Got a lot of good shit on there that you're gonna wanna use. Now get out of here, for reals this time. For reals, go. Get the hell out of here. I don't wanna see you here anymore. Now get out of here! Huh? <laughs>